So a quick recap, we talked about the, the blocks, we talked about, we compared the blocks to the groups, and then I showed you how to edit uh, a block and we saw how we can name it and then how to create multiple blocks and how we go to the blocks library from here. I showed you how to see the ones that are already available within our drawing. And then I showed you how to load the libraries that already come with AutoCAD. And this is one of them. This is the architectural Imperial. The, the reason we're using the Imperial version is because uh, that's the one that's made like for inches and feet. Uh, there's another one exactly the same, but it's for metric. Uh, and there's there's a couple more, but the one I mainly use is really the architectural. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna focus on that and we're gonna use some more of these. Uh, I showed you the dynamic blocks and how cool they are, especially for the door block. It's very handy, it saves a lot of time. Uh, so that was in terms of concepts and in terms of our drawing, now we have the walls, the doors, the windows, we have the room names, we've used dimensions, we've used like text elements in general. Um, and we are ready to move to the next phase, which is like to draw the furniture, the casework. But before that, I wanna introduce a new concept for you, which is the layers. So layers actually allow us to organize our drawing or our project uh, into like like certain groups. It's not, it's not like the group that we were doing in terms of drawings, but basically we would organize them by properties. So for example, let's say we want all the doors to be actually in red color. So we would place all of them on a layer that is called doors. And that particular layer, we give it a color that is red. Uh, and the same with the dimensions, we would give them their own layer. And basically you're gonna see now, we're gonna create multiple layers. Uh, we're gonna create one for the walls, one for the doors, one for the windows, uh, and then one for the room names or the text specifically, and then another one for the dimensions. Uh, and it will allow us to like easily look at our drawing and like uh, distinguish the different parts. And also allows us like to control and change things um, like on a global scale sort of thing. So uh, let's dive into this. So you can see the layers section on the right side, it's right above properties. Uh, we didn't go over it at all so far. We've talked about properties a lot, but basically, again, like I said, layers allows us like to control most of the properties of objects like in one go. Um, and basically here, I'm just gonna expand this window and like kind of have it hovering here. Uh, so by default, AutoCAD, what it has, it has a single layer, which is the zero layer. Uh, the zero layer is uh, basically like, Everything that we've been drawing has been sitting on the zero layer. And you can see here, like in the properties, it says the layer is zero. Uh, on your end, you should see the layer, uh, the zero layer uh, and the death points layer. Uh, the death points layer is actually a layer that gets created when we create the, the dimensions. Um, I don't have the perfect uh, reason why it gets created, but that's how AutoCAD uh, was set up. It basically, this layer automatically gets generated. Once we add dimensions to our drawing, uh, and on my end, I have another one death point. Uh, this one probably came with the blocks that I have here that, or not the blocks, like basically uh, the stuff that we imported into our drawing. Uh, and then I have like the JC hatch. This is also a layer that comes with, with this hatch that we have here, like that I have for that particular block. But anyway, on your end, you must see, uh, you're most likely seeing the zero and the death points layer. Uh, and like I said, Everything we're drawing in AutoCAD actually has to sit on a specific layer. So to create a new layer, we're gonna actually click on this button right here. Uh, actually, not, not this one, this is the make current. So I mistook the icon, it's this one, I think this one right here on the bottom. Okay, my bad. So here, here's a new layer. So we're gonna create a new one. And the way I like to name the layers, like you can say, like you can add your initials or your name, uh, but the proper way to really do it is to add the designation of like the discipline. So for example, if you're doing uh, elements related to architecture, you would add A at the beginning of a layer. So here, for example, I would add A and then I will type walls. So that would mean like architectural walls uh, and we're gonna create multiple of these layers. So I'm gonna make another one and I'm gonna say A uh, doors and then I'm not gonna make one more and then let's say A windows. And then I'm gonna start modifying uh, their settings. So the first thing I'm gonna change is actually their color. So the walls, I like to have them as green. The windows, I like them uh, at yellow. And then the doors, I'm gonna place them at red. Um, and before I move my, like forward in this, let's assign actually the layers. So I'm gonna hide, like put this back in. I'm gonna dock it back to the right side. And then let's like select the doors and I'm gonna 
place all of them on their own layer. Uh, and it's pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna select them. Uh, I have here the closet, the closet doors. I think we're almost done. We have a few sliding and then one more here. And I think I just captured all the doors. Okay, I need to add the garage as well. So here I'll select all of these guys. And now what I will do is from the right side where it says properties, I'm gonna switch their layer from zero. I'm gonna switch it to doors and you will see all of them became red. And immediately, like you can see, like the drawing becomes really easy to look at. So now we're gonna do the same with the with the windows. I'm gonna select them and I'm gonna move them to their own layer as well. So we have a few here, few here, okay? And since we drew all of them like nicely, um, it's becoming easy to select them. Uh, anyway, it was about time because we're seeing everything like in one color, like the white color. It's making it hard to look at the drawing. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna move all of these now to their own layer. So you can change it from the properties or you can change it from the layers on the top here, it says zero. So here I'll switch to windows and that modified all of them. And then for the walls, we're gonna do the same. So I'll do this quickly, you can skip a couple seconds ahead. So since I joined most, most of these uh, walls earlier it's it's like i'm able to select them a little faster i realized i didn't join everything i was planning to like select all of them and join them at the end but i wasn't able to do that before we did the layering because you will see now what's handy about the layers uh, is that we can like lock certain layers um, and then turn off uh, other ones so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna move all of these guys to the walls layer here we go this is how our drawing is looking so far